dear students good morning to all today i am going to teach how to find the rank of the given matrix using a row reduction method rank of a matrix using row reduction method rank of a non zero matrix is equal to the number of non zero rows in a row echelon form it is denoted by row of a non zero row means the row having at least one non zero element zero row means all the elements in a row are zero now i am going to explain how to find the rank of the matrix using row reduction method first you have to check whether the given matrix is in row echelon form or not if it is in row echelon form then find the number of non zero rows in it this number of non zero rows are the rank of the given matrix suppose it is not in the row echelon form reduce the matrix into row echelon form then find the number of non zero rows in it this number of non zero rows is the rank of the given matrix i am going to explain how to find the rank of the given matrix using row reduction method the problem is find the rank of the matrix 1 1 1 3 2 minus 1 3 4 5 minus 1 7 11 by using row reduction method here want to find the rank of the given matrix for that first let us consider the given matrix is a a equal to 1 1 1 3 2 minus 1 3 4 5 minus 1 7 11 okay for finding the rank first you have to check whether the given matrix is in row echelon form or not okay here the matrix is not in row echelon form because okay the second row first element and third row first two elements are non zero so i'm going to reduce the given matrix into row echelon form okay for that first I'm going to use this operation R2 is R2 minus 2 R1, and using this operation R3 is R3 minus 5 R1. Okay, keep the first row as it is. Okay, so here the operation for R2 is R2 minus 2 R1. So first you have to write the R2 elements. There is 2 minus 1, 3, 4. Then multiply the R1 elements by 2. Then you will get 2 2 2 6 then subtracting those two means you will get 0 minus 3 1 minus 2 so the r2 becomes 0 minus 3 1 minus 2 okay similarly i'm going to use the operation r3 as r3 minus 5 r1 okay for that first you have to write the r3 elements 5 minus 1 7 11 then multiply R one elements by five, then you'll get five, 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 fifteen. Then subtracting those two means you'll get zero minus six, two minus four. Then R three becomes zero minus six, two minus four. Row echelon four means the first row, first element should be non-zero. and the triangle form should be zero that means second row first element is zero third row first two elements should be zero okay here second row first element is zero third row first element is zero okay the third row second element is non zero okay so i'm going to make this term as zero okay for that i'm going to use this operation r3 is r3 minus 2 r2 okay so first you have to write the r3 element zero Minus six two minus four. Okay, then multiply R two elements by two. Then you'll get zero minus six two minus four. Then subtracting those two means you'll get zero 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 zero. So the third row becomes zero 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 zero. Okay. Now see here, the first row first element is non-zero. The triangle form should be zero. and the number of zeros in the last row is greater than the number of zeros in the previous row so it is in row echelon form okay so rank of the matrix means the rank of the matrix is equal to the number of non zero rows 
in the row echelon form okay so here the number of non zero rows are 2 so rank of the matrix row of a is equal to 2 this is the method how to find the rank of the given matrix students hope you understand today's session see you in the next video thank you